goosebumps. I got goosebumps on my shins, my thighs, my back. Mirko Krokop and Wild Boys, when he walks down to the ring, is just something special. And one that you also love, ironically or coincidentally, is when Vanderlei Silva makes his way and we hear Sandstorm. Moving forward, if we get to call Sandstorm with Vanderlei Silva, we're not talking. <laughs> and I completely agree with that. Judge. 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 Here we Ready? go. Mirko Krokop. TK. TK said he cannot give Krokop space. Krokop says, I'm just going to push this guy around and make a pay. Uh oh. Krokop got hit. Punishing punches by Krokop. Look at this side. Oh, it's oh, it. Oh. Krokop landing four. Sorry, right hands after right hand. Now has TK on the ground. Look for the vicious crowd of how to commence. TK doing a good job of moving underneath. Trying to tap with his arms. My goodness. Krokop just launching the power bombs here. TK's Leather got his arm caught. His left arm is caught underneath. He's got to get out of here. He's got to push himself away. Oh, there's the left. Miracle natural left-handed fighter. TK's blooded up. He's all caught up. Getting punishment. Referee is making the look. He threw in the towel and said, that's it. It's over. Krokop, once again, emerges victorious here in Japan with some ruthless power, Frank Trigg. Wow, that was... Jeez. Uh, now we got to worry about... Krokop's going to have to pass the torch to Usawa Gomi. Well, I don't know about that because he said, he told us flat out, if I could have a retirement fight, it would be against Fedor Emelianenko. Unfortunately for Fedor Emelianenko's career, it hasn't been going the way Krokop thinks it would be big enough in Japan. I still think it's big enough to take place. Who still, I, I understand Fedor's career has taken a bit of a dive, but that's a classic fight that we would all love to see. But Mirka said, if that is not going to work, then what I do want to do, like you said, is I want to take on the next young buck that Ryzen could build. In my retirement fight, I just want to go out on my sword. I do not want to fight and defeat a tomato can yeah. in my final fight. I want to fight, so I would rather lose an exciting fight than win versus a tomato can. And he, he says he's more likely going to fight twice next year. So we're looking at some time, you know, probably July, and then again, December 31st, the big New Year's Eve show next year. That'll be his, his final swan song. And we obviously saw, you know, some two or five pounders fight uh, on the 29th. Uh, Albertson for Hustle. Yeah, and, and yeah that's, that's a great fight. One, either one of those guys will be a great matchup. And there's his good friend and, and uh, manager, Ken Amato, right there in front. Um, uh, it, it, it is a, a storied career, and it's just tough to figure out, like, because you want Cook Cup to go on a good note, but you also he also wants to be challenged. He does not want to walk away without being completely challenged. And it's very difficult. Of course, there's still a lot of heat between him and Vanderlei Silva. Like there's, there's been heat. They still don't particularly like each other. You know, he said to us, like, Vanderlei's a very weird cat. Sometimes he says hi, sometimes he doesn't. The gentleman right behind Mirko Krokop right now, to over his right shoulder, his name is Ante Delia. That was the man that I was hinting at on the 29th show as to who potentially for Hoska can fight next yeah. if Ryzen is willing to put that fight on. Mirko told us this. This guy is the future. Ante Delia is an absolute monster when it comes to ground and pound. You guys have no idea. And he kept saying, Joe Frank, you watch. Yeah. Watch. If he signs with Ryzen, you will see the future of heavyweight mixed martial arts. So I want to explain something to you guys. So the Asian gentleman in the back in the sport coat in Mirko's corner, that, that's Ken Amata. He's been his manager for life. Like he's, he's, they're very close friends. They, you know, the kids hang out together. They own property together. They have other businesses together. Ken was retired. He was out. And then all of a sudden, Ryzen wanted Mirko to come back here and fight. Ken all of a sudden has come out of retirement because Mirko will not deal with anybody else but Ken. I asked Ken, what are you going to do now when Mirko retires in a year from now? What are you going to do? He goes, the only way I would stay in the game is if Mirko asked me to help with, with, his, with his teammate. And that's the only way Ken's going to stay in it. And this is a huge deal for, this, for these type of guys that are, I'm out. I've retired, man. I've had enough of this whole game. Congratulations. Thank you very much. ありがとうございます。ここまで日本人には負けなし。そういった記録が続いていました。そんな中での今日の一戦、どんな準備をして、ミルコさんリングに上がったんでしょうか。プロ、ポジラシングラテリマ、ゴーハイラノエテベ、イシコチのプラティブフロワツク。
、えー、クロチアのですねみんなも見てくれてると思って、まあ、自分のすべてを出し切ろうと思いましたミルコさんにとって k 1時代プライド時代そしてこのライズインとこの日本のリングというのはどういった存在なんでしょうか Well, fighting in Japan is a special feeling for me, and、uh, especially I'm one of the last of my generation from Pride. But I'm still standing. I'm still standing, and I still compete on a high level. And、uh, I want to thank Mr. Koshaka too for accepting this fight. And I hope he will be okay. Hope he isn't injured. Something more serious. そうですねあのやっぱり日本の土地っていうのは自分にとって特別な場所であります、えー、おっしゃっていただいたように、まあ、自分のこれまでの戦績、えー、思い出がある場所であります、えー、そして、まあ、言ってみれば自分の世代の、まあ、最後の一人、えー、だと思うんですねただ、まあ、今日皆さん見ていただけたでしょうかあの十分な力をまだまだ持っているということあのこれからも見せていきたいと思います、えー、それから、まあ、対戦を受けてくれた、まあ、小坂剛選手ですねあの本当にありがとうございますと伝えたいですですね、えー。ぜひすぐ良くなっていただきたいですね。ミルコさんは来年、まあ、引退をするという宣言をされていますが、あとどれぐらい我々の前で試合をしてくれるんでしょうか。Well, definitely. The last fight you will see from me will be on 31st December in 2018. That's my final decision, and、uh, at the end of the day, I really would like to fight 10 or 20 more years, but. There needs to come end to everything. But I had a big and rich and successful career, and、uh, definitely I will fight at least one more time before that December to keep my body in shape. And、uh, after that, 31st December, and it will be it. あのまあ、確かにすで、えー、に表明した通り来年の12月31日に、まあ、大晦日をですね最後の試合の日にしたいと、まあ、それまでに、まあ、少なくとも1回はですね、まあ、体の、まあ、調子をしっかりと整えて維持していくために、えー、皆さんに試合を見せられたらいいなと思っています。えーまあ、10年20年ととずっっこうしてて戦ってきてあのいい